Good evening. I'm Oliver Kaplan, the Artistic Director of Juventus, and it's my great pleasure to welcome you to tonight's concert. This program speaks to one of the most critical issues of our time, climate change. If you were looking for a lighthearted evening, I'm sorry to say you've chosen the wrong concert. <laughs> uh, these are heavy works, uh, but they're important works. And our aim is it's not to bring you down, but it's to bring us together in a collective call for action. One of the things that differentiates Juventus from your traditional classical ensemble is that all of the music we perform is written by composers who are alive and living in the world that we live in. Um, and I can guarantee you, you will not find a Mozart or Beethoven piece about climate change. <laughs> Uh, speaking of living composers, though, um, three of the five composers on tonight's program are with us in the hall, which is pretty awesome. Um, and it's my great pleasure to invite Mary Montgomery Coppell to introduce her piece, House on Fire. Hello, thank you for being here. Thank you for supporting new music. Thank you, Juventus, for making new music. and for tackling one of the greatest issues facing our species right now. Um, I'm honored to be here and to have my piece opening this program. Um, I'm excited to hear the other pieces on this tremendously varied program, but I, I, I'm just really excited to, to be here. Uh, the piece was written um, in 2019 um, for, it was actually originally for voice and piano, and I'm really excited to have had this awesome uh, palette of colors to work with as I've been able to expand the orchestration um, with these wonderful musicians and with the, the variety that they allow. Um, I think it really enhances the original piece really effectively. Uh, the piece I'm not going to walk you through the piece. There are program notes that can do that if you if you you know want to follow along with what you're hearing. Um, but it sets two poems, and then it sets text from Greta Thunberg's uh, famous speech to the United Nations. Um, it's interesting because it fits a trend that I've observed in recent years, starting in the winter of 2017. Nearly every commission I got for a new piece asked me to address something pretty weighty, a pretty weighty issue facing uh, our country or our world. Um, there seems to be an, an, a hunger for art that addresses the tough topics and that um, amplifies issues. Um, I've also been asked some really challenging questions as I've you know, presented works on, you know, things on ju social justice, on um, things on uh, climate change, obviously, things on advocacy, things on gun control. I've been asked before, you know, oh, do you see your music as a catalyst for change? And I, like, flipped out because I know that little me and little my music is not going to change, be a tremendous agent for change, but this is how I express my beliefs. This is my medium. Uh, this is the artistic medium that I work in. If I were a painter, I'd paint you a picture. If I were a writer, I'd use words. Um, but these issues are very near and dear to my heart. And, um, and, and I gather to yours as well if you're here uh, tonight. Um, it's, a, it's a privilege to get to write for such amazing musicians to bring this music to life. Um, it's really an expression of my own um, my own personal emotions surrounding uh, climate change, the, the irrevocable change in some cases, and the potential for even greater change if we don't act very quickly. So the piece is uh, House on Fire, taking from Greta Thunberg's text again, um, speech again, um, but it's uh, three songs on responsibility and where the responsibility lies, who, who, who should who should be tackling this problem and who has not yet? And um, I really hope that you, again, enjoy. Doesn't feel like quite the right word for this concert, but I, I hope that you get something out of this performance. I know you will from the other pieces. I'm really eager to hear them, and I'm grateful that you're all here and grateful to these musicians.
and the great ships come back and come they will when they stand
eternal economic growth. How dare you? Good evening, everyone. Um, I'm the composer of the next piece that you're about to hear. I'm also the general manager for this ensemble, and I extend my heartfelt thanks for braving the elements this evening. I know many were drowned, but they will come back with music, I swear. Uh, this piece that you're about to hear is about half a year in the making. Um, the title is called Tletsanen. And this is a word that comes from the language of the Nahua people, called Nahuatl. And it was a language that exists, and to this day exists, in Mesoamerica, even before the conquistadors came to Mexico to colonize the area. It was the lingua franca of the Aztec Empire. And um, 
I found it while researching ancient Nahuatl poetry, and um, I thought it was so fitting to include in a concert about climate change. The poetry is a lament about the poet or the artist's dissatisfaction with the earth. And I was struck by how this mirrored my own experience um, in the world with the consideration that climate change is a real and ongoing uh, threat to our world. So I, I was immediately touched. And as an artist, I, I, I do the thing that I, I know how to do. And that was to create, to create music, to create art. and. Um, and I thought to myself, you know, why? Why do this thing with this challenge uh, ahead of, uh, of all of us uh, that's, that's affecting our lives um, in every possible conceivable way? And I just came to the resolution that um, even though I may not you know, usher in a, a new era of restoration for our earth, I could at least do the thing that uh, I think I was brought on this earth to do, which was to create, to create, and hopefully um, sway even one person um, towards this, this mission of, of saving what we have left, saving what we have left for our families and for everyone around us. So uh, please, uh, without further ado, uh, enjoy my new work, Tatsanen.
yet one more composer. Please join me in welcoming Alexander Lieberman. Dear audience, hello, my name is Alexander Liebermann and I'm the composer of the next piece. Um, the piece um, is basically a result of an epiphany I had a couple of years ago in results or regarding climate change and the thoughts of this epiphany take form in a narrative, they materialize in a narrative happening in a little girl's dream about the future. Yes, if you're more curious, the lyrics on the program, I hope you enjoy it, thank you.
again. So um, before the final work on our program, I have some very exciting news to share. Those of you who are Juventus super fans may recall our angel donor from the past couple years. Um, and this incredibly generous person has stepped forward again. Um, our anonymous donor has challenged our community to make 300 donations to Juventus of any size by April 7. Um, and if we can achieve that, um, they have pledged $30,000 to help us grow. To put this in context, um, our entire annual budget for everything that we do is just $200,000. So $30,000 means a lot to our organization. Um, our angel's interest, um, as you've probably gathered, is, is to galvanize our community and broaden our base of supporters. So as I've mentioned, every donation, every size counts towards that 300. Um, this, if you bear with me for a couple more minutes, this could not come at a better time for us. Um, you've probably heard about this pesky thing called inflation, um, and it affects uh, musical organizations too. Um, putting on our concerts um, costs a lot more than it did two years ago. To give just a few examples, um, when we sent a snail mail postcard to advertise our concerts, that costs 46% more than it did two years ago, which is shocking, I know. These music stands for iPods cost 51% more than they did two years ago. This gorgeous venue that we're all sharing tonight um, to rent it costs us 75% more than it did two years ago. Um, so we've got a little pinch on the one hand, um, and then on the other hand, um, our mission is actually not to stay the same size, but we are trying to expand our impact um, and bring this kind of programming to even more people. Uh, in February, we uh, tested a new partnership with First Parish Sudbury, and it was so successful that we're bringing three programs there next year. We're increasing our presence at the New England Botanic Garden, um, building on the success of Music and Bloom. We're adding um, two indoor programs this May and next February. Um, and in September, we're kicking off a new partnership with the Brattleboro Music Center in Vermont. Um, so all this is to say, um, we, we super duper really need your help. Um, and the, the Angels $30,000 gift and your own contributions are gonna help us make all of this happen. Um, to make super easy for you to help in this challenge and we slipped donation uh, envelopes in your concert program you can mail them back to us you can also just drop them on the box office table and we'll take them home with us um, you can donate with a credit card on our website you can even venmo us it's at juventus music um, it all goes to the same place um, and there's more. Um, we um, to show our gratitude and also add a little bit of fun um, Everyone who donates um, tonight by midnight is going to be entered in a drawing to win one of three fun Juventus prizes. Um, so number one is a stylish Juventus t-shirt. Number two uh, is a pair of tickets to Music and Bloom at the New England Botanic Garden this June. Um, and number three is really special. Um, one of our musicians will serenade the recipient of your choice um, on Zoom um, with happy birthday or another occasion appropriate tune. Um, so all you need to do to be entered in this drawing is to make a donation of any size. I'm here or when you go home tonight. Um, we, we have about um, 15 people who have made early donations to this pledge. I am one of them very proudly. And um, we're hoping to cross 50 by the end of today because we've got um, two weeks until April 7 to get 300, which, which is a really big lift. We're a small organization, so we need everybody's help. Um, but thank you for considering. Um, with that said, um, after the concert, we have a meet the artist reception just across the hall in the gallery and our musicians and composers would love to chat with you. Um, and our final work is um, the, the title piece of the concert, In the Age of the Rise by Eliza Brown. I, I think I'll share one, at the risk of talking too long, one small detail about this um, piece, which is really sad. Um, the, Eliza's family has a house on the coast of Maine, um, 
and this piece, I think, which was written a couple of years ago, the third movement foreshadowed the eventual taking of this house by the sea um, and sort of wondered um, which, which family member would be the last to see the house on the coast of Maine. Um, and, and sadly, as it happened, um, there was a big storm this January that took the house. Um, and I think it just highlights, and, and Eliza was kind enough to share this story with us um, so we can share it with you um, and they're watching um, at home on the live stream. Um, but it does bring home, there's a lot of you know, science and abstract talk of climate change, but it also affects individual people's lives and it's, it's the story of all of us and our, our families and our time on earth. So um, thank you again for joining us tonight um, and I hope you enjoy In the Age of the Rise. Oh, 